this journey is not a solitary journey the only solitary part is a very limited part up to the third eye center the 10th door there the master that works is invisible to us and the master who is visible is outside in a physical form up to that point you should take advantage of the master in the physical form that's why they say in the spiritual path satsang is very important what is satsang i came to united states and they said we are going to sat sang i thought we sit and sing there <laughs> i didn't know that they meant satsang they just said sat sang <laughs> so what is satsang sat means the truth sang means company company of the truth satsang is company of the truth and what greater truth do you have what greater evidence and manifestation of perfect ultimate truth do you have than the same truth manifest in a visible form in the physical body of a master there is no greater thing i have tried to say that we want to believe in god have you seen god has anybody ever seen god nobody has ever seen god because when you are in a position to see god you are god yourself you can't see him if somebody says i want to see what is totality you are totality you are not even qualified to see god if you are not god yourself therefore the only way to see god is in a manifest form and the manifest form is when the very power of totality of consciousness becomes manifest in a human being, being like us is the consciousness of that being that makes it the same as the consciousness of god so therefore the company of the truth satsang means the company of a human being with that kind of awareness the more time you spend with that the bigger your progress the faster your progress on the spiritual path a old mystic poetic mystic kabir in india says if you spend one ghadi ghadi means an hour and a half say if you spend an hour and a half or half of that say 45 minutes or half of that in the company of a perfect living master is worth more than 1000 years of meditation i know it's an exaggeration but imagine the value is giving to being in the company of a perfect living master what happens to us in the company of a perfect living master therefore never underestimate the value of satsa it brings our mind in line on the track again and again we are away from satsa the mind travels outside goes to other things again he come back puts us back on track gives us renewed vows no this time i'm going to high priority then you go away you lose that priority other things become important the more frequent you can have satsang the better great master had many disciples from other countries including united states and england and africa south africa so somebody asked him master how important it is to beat the physical form of the master and how much useful it is great master said it's best if you can see him every day but if you cannot see him every day once a week would be okay he said master what about people living far away they can't come to you well all right once a month should be all right okay for those people he said what about people living overseas far off they can't afford to come okay once a year is okay so what about those who can't come once a year then they have to wait <laughs> wait for next life so he made it clear the importance of satsang importance of meeting the master being in this company spending time and it churns our mind around it brings us back on track if we miss that there's so many worldly distractions that occupy us we forget about it okay oh i missed meditation today i'll do it tomorrow maybe a little more tomorrow maybe i am very busy with my work with my job uh, when i retire i'll do meditation more and sometimes we never get the time in whole life what you've been postponing and we procrastinate so much on meditation more than anything else oh we can do it later today was no time that means our priorities are not oriented to spiritual path if we were oriented to spiritual path 
put it as priority number one. This has to be done. First thing. Then I'll take care of other things. If there's a delay, I delay other things and not this. So that kind of priority puts you back on track. And satsang is a valuable tool for putting you in high priority on the spiritual path, that you put it in priority where it's required.